Hello, I'm Kristen Zambo, Promotional Services Manager for the Batavia Public Library. This month, I'm coming to you from the library's reading garden, but I have a friend here with me. Lurking just around the corner is Halloween, that spookiest of nights when all the little ghosts and monsters will be on the prowl for treats and goodies. And I will be on the prowl to scare them! The library is offering a sugar-free choice to hand out to trick-or-treaters. It's a coupon good for a free children's book, young adult book, or paperback book. No children! I get all the children, but you can get wonderful things with those coupons. Scary stories! This Halloween, you can give the treat of reading and exploration with All Hallows Read coupons. Coupons are sold in sheets like this of 10 for $2.50 per sheet, with proceeds going to the nonprofit Friends of the Batavia Public Library. The Friends are dedicated to helping and improving the library and enriching the opportunities available to our community. And sometimes we just come in the library and scare people. You know how it is with witches. We can't resist the opportunity to make life interesting for some people. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> so it's a treat you can feel good about doling out, and not just from a high fructose corn syrup standpoint. All Hallows Read coupons will be sold through October 31st at the library's checkout desk, during the Friends of the Batavia Public Library book sale on October 8th, and during Batfest Stories and Parade on October 29th. Now you make sure to come to Batfest because you get to sit out here on these wonderful seats, listen to scary stories, watch the librarians enjoying themselves and getting scared by me. The book sale is scheduled for 9.15 a.m. to 1 p.m. on October 8th in the Friend Space in the library's lower level. Batfest Stories is set for 11.30 a.m. to noon on October 29th here at the library. Learn more about Batfest Stories on our website in the events calendar. For those who can't get enough Halloween candy, though, the library has several opportunities to vote for your favorite. Stop by the Youth Services desk through Halloween to vote for your favorite treat. They're keeping a tally, and the winning candy will be revealed on November 1st. <laughs> and I get to eat whatever is left over. <laughs> yes, even witches like to indulge. <laughs> and unlike the upcoming general election, you can vote multiple times. The second is Halloween Candy Showdown a special event for students in grades five to eight. Students will taste test an assortment of Halloween candies, vote and debate with friends about which treat really is the best. Taste testing begins at 6 p.m. on Monday, October 17th, but please register in advance through our event calendar. We need to know how much candy to bring, aside from a lot. Oh, well, I eat other things too. Actually, I've been eating these coupons. The glue on the back of them is really delicious and it sticks to your teeth. <laughs> and third, a candy competition is set for 6 to 8 p.m. on Tuesday, October 25th for teens. Register for the chance to crown the best Halloween candy of 2022 which of course involves taste testing and voting. Just go to our events calendar and click on the October 25th slot to sign up. October is packed with even more programs and events. And it's really for patrons of all ages and interests. Our fall reading challenge continues this month in youth services. Children through 14 years old may earn their choice of a free book to keep by reading three classic picture books or one classic fiction book. If they complete both, they will receive a second book for free. Learn more at the Youth Services Desk.
pick up a free steam lab in a bag kit filled with jellyfish themed activities on Thursday, October 6th in youth services. Did you say jellyfish? Jellyfish. Oh my heavens, how do you keep them fresh? They're in a bag. Oh, poor little fishies. Enjoy the classic tale, The Three Little Pigs. Oh, that has a wolf in it. Why not have a witch in it? Join in. Mm, I might like to eat a little piggy occasionally. The Three Little Pigs has a surprise ending by Roz Puppets on Monday, October 10th. Click on the October 10th slot on our events calendar to register for this free family event. Get in the spooky spirit of Halloween with the creepy crayon. Yeah. Head to the library reading garden for story stroll from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 15th. Story stroll is free and no registration is required. We're partnering with the Batavia Fire Department on Wednesday, October 12th for Be Prepared, a fire prevention program. I never have to worry about fire. I just get on my broom and fly away. But you need to know what to do to keep yourself safe. You just need to worry about water. That's, oh, that's why I was worried about the jellyfish. <laughs> we'll gather on Water Street for an up close look at a fire truck and to learn about the gear firefighters use and how you can be prepared. Afterward, we'll head to the library for a craft and fire prevention giveaways. This free program is open to all ages. Registration is required. Mark your calendars for a very special online event. Two-time National Book Award winner, Jesmyn Ward, who was hailed as the new Toni Morrison by the American Booksellers Association, will discuss on October 12th how her literary vision and personal experiences address urgent questions about racism and social injustice. R Ward wrote the critically acclaimed novels Sing, Unburied Sing, and Salvage the Bones. Oh, Salvage the Bones. You already do that. I take care of any bones that are left lying around. They go in my kettle, my cauldron, and we make a witch's brew. So I've heard. <laughs> Tasty. This, <laughs> this Illinois Libraries Present event is scheduled for 7 p.m. via Zoom, and registration is required through our events calendar. Are you interested in finding extra cash? <laughs> I know where everyone's gold is buried. <laughs> and their secrets, too. <laughs> well, of course you are. The Illinois State Treasurer's Office will be at the library from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Thursday, October 13th to look up unclaimed funds you didn't know were due or that you were to inherit. There is no cost to attend iCash and those funds will be returned to you with proper identification. Learn more on our events calendar for October 13th. This month's Books Between Bites... Be bites? I said bites. Oh my god! Are you having werewolves and vampires No, there? it's fun. Oh. Sorry. I don't like fun. <laughs> this month's Books Between Bites begins at noon on Thursday, October 20th, and focuses on author Diane Lincoln's book, Science Discovery Files, 10 Forgotten Stories of Incredible Scientists. This event is free and no registration is required. Bring your lunch or stop by Flyleaf Bakery Cafe for sliders, pasta salad, or a special treat. Oh, special treat. You know, they have really good things in there. And I hear they're going to have some spooky things toward Halloween. They are. Oh, I can't wait. And October is the perfect time to visit area apple orchards. And the scent of baking apples wafting through your home simply is heavenly. Chef Kristen Slick will walk us through some apple-licious recipes, just like Grandma used to bake 
during Classroom Kitchen on Thursday, October 20th. Retro Baking with Apples promises to be a fun Zoom class where we'll learn to make warm and cozy treats popular about a hundred years ago. Oh, when I was a young girl. Now, did you know that the library has this tremendous collection of different kind of cake pans I that do. people can use? You check them out just like a book. Think of the apple things you could make. It's fabulous. Oh my God, apples. They're nice in the mouth of a pig though. I wouldn't know about that. No, I'll invite you for dinner some night, my dear. You'll be the honored guest. As long as I'm not on the menu. Oh. This class is free, but register through our events calendar to be emailed both the Zoom link and the recipes. What would October be without a little something that goes bump in the night? Like us. And it was on a dark and dreary night that Dr. Victor Frankenstein finally beheld the creature he created. Frankenstein, considered the world's first science fiction novel, was written by... Oh, 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 my friend! My friend! Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin Shelley! I love her because she has so many names. <laughs> Mary Wollstonecraft Godwin Shelley. Now, I don't have that many names. I'm just witch. <laughs> and you're also not 19, like she was when she wrote this classic. She was a marvel. I remember her well, little woman. <laughs> but the story of how she created such a powerful, seminal novel reveals the painful struggle of a brilliant and rebellious mind. Yes! Born of two idealistic and revolutionary parents, Mary rebelled against English social norms. Mary's life experiences add up to a dark and stormy yes. night when a story born on a dare liberated her genius. And I stood behind her every inch of the way, putting words into her mouth and coming out through her pen. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Our Sundays on stage events, Mary Shelley, Love and Frankenstein, delves into this fascinating tale and the author's life as portrayed by professional storyteller, Megan Wells. This free event begins at 2 p.m. Sunday, October 23rd, and registration is required through our events calendar slots. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I'll be back to talk about the events in store for you and your family in November. We hope to see you soon. And we hope to see you with money and the desire to buy these wonderful coupons. Don't give those children just sugar. Give them something for their minds. They may not love you, but you can feel virtuous about it. And there are some children that cannot eat sweets. Give them a handful of these, or give me their address. Thank you very much, Witch. Anytime, dear friend. Anytime. And I will see you at Backfest, I'm sure. Absolutely. Which is the highlight of the Batavia season. The library offers so many events. The city of Batavia makes sure that everyone is ready for trick or treating. And I take care of the tricks department. <laughs> You've got it covered.